In this video, we will cover 8 powerful tricks to help you master pivot tables. Be sure to watch until the end for tips that can truly make a difference. So let's start. So, so trick number one, summarize value. So let's start. So first here, I'm going to create here the pivot table. So to create pivot table, first select full data. So I select here the one cell and I use here the shortcut key control A to select the full data. After that, go to the insert tab in tables group have a pivot tables option. Click on this drop down arrow, then click on the from tables and range. And you can see here the range is automatically selected and you can select the new worksheet to create pivot table on new worksheet. Just click on OK. And that's it here you can see the new worksheet is added to create your pivot table with this pivot table analyze and design tab also here added so I simply add here the product name in rows then total sales amount in values and you can see here the product name and total sales is added in your pivot table okay now I want to summarize this amount in sum, in count and in average. So I add here the three column of total cells. Okay. So one value I summarize in sum, second value I summarize in average and third one is a count. So here you can see in values have a first option sum of total cells and with the drop down arrow is small showing here. Just click on it. And click on the value field settings option and here the value field settings dialog box is open and you can summarize the value field by sum count average so i select the first sum is default selected sum is the value is a sum so i'm select here the default sum and click on ok and second just click on drop down arrow click on the value field setting now i select the average and click on ok now you can see that the second column value average of total sale and here sum of total sale and third I want in count then here I drag below and click on this drop down arrow and click on the value field setting and select here the count function to summarize value field by count and click on ok and you can see the total sales amount is converted in count ok so this is a way you can summarize value in different way so that's it so let's see the second trick to insert slicer in pivot table so here i already create the pivot table now i'm going to insert here slicer so with this pivot table you can see here the pivot table analysis and design tab also added just click on the pivot table analysis tab and you can see here the filter group in filter group have a option insert slicer just click on it to insert the slicer there are four heading name here showing as per your data I just close it I show you here sheet number one here also have a four heading the product ID product name category total sales okay so as per your data in slicer showing the heading okay so I just go to again pivot table analysis again filter group and click on the insert slicer option and here I select the category okay I want the category voice voice filter so I just select the category and click on ok now you can see slicer is added in your pivot table you can anywhere set this slicer with this mouse you can move anywhere now you can see there are four category in your data so i just click on the electronics you can see only electronics data here show it means only electronic data is filtered same as when i click on the furniture only furniture data is filtered with the one click if you want to clear filter just click on this icon to clear filter okay with this you can see here the slicer tab also added you can use the buttons with height columns you can change here accordingly height width size then you can change the slicer style also you can select the different color and different style style here 
so this is a so helpful to with the filter and is a slicer you anywhere you can say it you can easily resize with the mouse okay and you can it is a very helpful to filter the quickly on one click so that's it so let's see the trick number three to clear pivot table so okay here i'm going to add the simple pivot table so i just already add here the product name and total sales now i add here the category in filter and product id in rows and you can see here the pivot table is ready with the filters categories and other data so now here i'm going to clear this pivot table and i want to add this pivot table fields again okay so simply go to the pivot table analysis tab and here you can see it in action group have a clear option just click on this drop down arrow and click on the clear all option to clear your pivot table just click and clear your full pivot table here now you can newly add your pivot table fields and create quickly you don't need to go to sheet number one and click on the insert tab and create again the pivot table to if you want to create again so you just clear here pivot table and you can newly add here the pivot table fields and you can create easily so that's it trick number four refresh pivot table so let's start so here you can see i already create here pivot table and here i'm going to change on your data something so here i change the keyboard amount here 3000 is mentioned i change here the 88000 okay now i go to the pivot table a keyboard amount is a 3000 is same here showing okay i just highlight this amount you can see i highlighted it and now i go to the pivot table analysis in data group have a refresh option okay just click on this drop down arrow then click on the refresh all now you can see the 88000 amount is showing okay this is a way you can refresh your pivot table when you change your data anything okay so that's it trick number five change data source so let's start so here you can see i already add the pivot table okay now i'm going to change on data something so i'm going to add one column here of date column okay so i simply insert one column i select this column right click of the mouse and click on the insert to insert column then here i simply enter the date column so i just paste here my date column okay now i just go to the pivot table and go to the pivot table analysis and click on the refresh and click on the refresh all but it's not refresh here because here also you can see the pivot table fills the date fills it's not showing okay so date all other heading showing here but date fills is not showing after refresh okay for this you have to change the data source same as the pivot table analysis in data table it a data group have a change data source option just click on this drop down arrow and click on the change data source now you can see here the selected data range here the date column is not selected here you can select here you can change here the data range i just click on again and select here the data range and click again this arrow and click on ok now you can see here the date fields is added here now you can easily add here date fields so that's it trick number six insert timeline so let's start so here i just select this pivot table and go to the pivot table analysis in filter group have a insert timeline option just click on it and and you can see the date heading is showing just click on it and click on ok to insert timeline now you can see the timeline is inserted with this timeline tab also added you can change the timeline style and you can use the other option to change on the your timeline in timeline you can see the all periods and you monthly basis and yearly also you can see 
here is a monthly basis timeline showing if you want to change the yearly basis just click on the drop down arrow and here the four option available years quarters and days i just click on the year so you can see the yearly timeline showing here if you want to quarters so you can see the quarterly timeline is showing so this is a way you can change here the timeline so just select the timeline you can see the data where on this date or on this timeline on this quarter okay so second quarter of the 2013 is the data available when i quarter 3 select 2030 is data not available again i select the quarter 1 quarter 2 of 2014 quarter 2 2014 data have therefore is showing okay so this is a way you can use the timeline in pivot table that's it trick number 8 select pivot table so let's start so here i'm going to select this pivot table so i simply press the control a to select the pivot table but here you can see the date fields is not selected it's mean the full pivot table is not selected here so i am going to select the full pivot table go to the pivot table analysis in actions group have a select option just click on the select and click on the entire pivot table selection now you can see the entire pivot table is select same as i just click again the select option you can see if you want to select only value just click on the values you can see only values selected in pivot table again i click on the select option if you want to select only labels you can see only labels is selected same as if you want to labels and value select just click on the labels and value so this is a way you can select the pivot table so that's it thank you trick number 8 pivot table styles so let's start so select your pivot table and go to the design tab and here you can see the pivot table styles available just click on this drop down arrow you can see here the number of pivot table available styles available light medium just drag below and you can see the dark pivot table style is available select those you want i just select this one and if you want to clear this style just click again this arrow and click on the clear option the pivot table style is clear if you want to apply the style again just click on this arrow and you can apply again just drag below i want to apply the dark style okay so i select this one so this is a way you can apply the pivot table style to highlight your pivot tables in excel sheet so that's it thank you for watching i hope this pivot table tricks help you work smarter and faster don't forget to like share and subscribe for more tips see you in the next video bye